whether the government has asked the energy companies to hold prices until after the election, have, and, and one of the six companies is saying, yes, that is the case, uh, have the companies been asked? Have you been asked? Well, I don't know. All I know is what uh, we just heard the Prime Minister say, uh, and also that there uh, are uh, concerns, particularly about some of those additional costs that uh, come through onto the bill, uh, the green levies and the social levies, and whether there can be something done to roll them back or reduce them in some way. That's the, that's the discussions that I'm aware of. Uh, that I'm aware of. Right. I mean, I mean, this has been a major row all morning. I mean, have you talked directly to any of the six energy companies uh, today? Well, as far as we're concerned, we're a trade association and we represent uh, about 80 companies, the independent suppliers, independent generators, as well as the, the large companies. And these commercial issues are for businesses to decide uh, themselves. They're not somewhere where we would uh, get involved. It would not be right or proper. No, uh, just, well, just before, sorry, I mean, sorry. We, we will move on, I promise you, but I okay. just want to, to be clear on this, because, of course, this is not just pure commerce. Uh, the, the argument is that politics is very much involved here ahead it of is. an election. We know, of course, that it's a major issue between the government and Labour. Uh, so, I mean, I mean, it does seem odd that with it being such a central issue, you don't actually know whether the companies have been asked to hold their prices or not. This is an enormous political issue. You're absolutely right. And there's, there's a lot of politics tied up uh, uh, around energy. Um, but I, th I think, if I may say, that uh, you have to detach the politics from the commercial issues and the sorts of things which one needs to look at. Well, is as that far possible, though? Is that, is that actually well, possible? Well, I'm afraid it has to be, because if you, as a, a company, uh, decide that you're going to be driven too much by uh, a political debate which is going from A to B, then you won't be concentrating on the thing which you need to do, which is what it is for your customers and how you operate that company. Well, now, let, the let, politics let, will swirl around here for some time, yeah, well, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you entirely. Yeah. And no doubt there will be a lot more uh, politics that will take place over the next few weeks, few months, and or even a, a year and a half. Yeah, indeed, till the next election, Absolutely. fixed term, of course. Um, I mean, if, if, the, if the government has asked this question of the electricity companies, will you hold your price? Not a freeze, because it depends on what wholesale prices do, is our understanding. But will you, other than that, hold the prices till after the election? What would the answer be? Well, I, I think that some have actually made their position quite clear in a variety of ways over this last uh, uh, short period of time. Um, as the discussion has taken place over the, the levies that sit on the bill, that pass through and uh, are not um, anything to do with the uh, energy company themselves that relate to policy, the companies have actually made some statements publicly. They've either said in front of the Treasury Select Committee that if those green levies roll back, then they'll, they will pass that on pound for pound. Another one has said that today. Someone looking at their uh, increases in the year ahead have said, well, we'll make an increase on those things that are within our control, but we're assuming that the green levy uh, will change, and so we won't have to add that on to our customers. So in various ways, they have been answering uh, the question about what should or what might happen and what they will do, um, and uh, they have made those commitments, yes. OK, well, Angela Knight, you have managed to bring in those other issues without me even needing to ask, uh, ask them. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed.